All right, hey everyone, this is QB King 77 from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to show you how to root your Samsung Epic and install Clockwork Mod to either 2.5.1 or 3.0.0.6. I will show you both methods, uh, all without a computer. So you won't need a PC for this. Um, so what you're going to need to do is go to the, click on the link in the description. It'll take you to this website. It's uh, basically full root clockwork mod without a computer. Uh, big thanks to DRockstar for this. Uh, and also thanks for Chainfire for the Ginger Break app. First of all, what you're going to need to do is download some stuff. I would recommend doing it all at once and then going through this process. You're going to need to just go to the market and install SGS Kernel Flasher, ROM Manager, Astro File Manager, and Dolphin Browser HD. The only reason you need Dolphin Browser is if you're downloading these things straight from your phone, not on a computer. And the reason you need Astro File Manager is just to install the Gingerbrick APK. So any file manager works. Um, if you are not if you're on a PC downloading these files, then you don't need Dolphin Browser as well. But you will need SGS Kernel Flasher and ROM Manager both available in the market. After you have those, go ahead and download. You're going to need to download gingerbreak.apk right here. So click on the here. You're going to need to also download uh, this clean kernel. So download that as well. And you're going to also need this clockwork mod 2.5 zip and if you're looking to be an ext4 file system clockwork mod 3.0.0.6 zip you're going to need all of those i put them all into one folder if you do put it in a folder your folder can't have a space in it so mine is called no pc but it's no pc without any spaces in between it just uh, i believe it has something to do with um something to do with rom manager so now that you have all those files on your SD card, you're going to want to need to go back to your phone, go ahead and go to your file explorer, in my case I'm using ES File Explorer, and go to the folder where, or, or wherever you put the Gingerbreak APK, in my case my no PC folder right there, no PC. Go ahead and click on it and install Gingerbreak. It's, it'll say either install block, go to settings, unknown sources, hit yes, go back and then install Gingerbreak APK. Go ahead and install the application. Now that that's installed, you're going to also need to go, go ahead and press menu, settings, applications, development, and check USB debugging and hit yes. Go ahead and have that checked as well. Okay, so now that you have all of those applications, SGS Kernel, ROM Manager, and Gingerbreak, those three that you'll need, what you're going to first need to do is run Gingerbreak. This will root your phone. It'll be basic root. You won't have any clockwork. It'll just be rooted. You can use any app that needs root. Um, it's only going to root your phone, keep you on the RFS file system. So it'll say, please make sure you have your SD card inserted and mounted and USB debugging is enabled. So now you, what you're going to need to do is hit root device. It's going to run the root exploit. It's going to take a while. It took me, I believe, probably like four or five minutes to do it. If it does take over ten minutes, go ahead and reboot your phone and then try Ginger Break again. Try it again if it doesn't work the first time. So I'm going to let this run. Like I said, it'll take a little while and I'll get back when it's done. It should reboot your phone. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I will, I'm actually now rooted to show you this. I should have this super user app on my phone. And there it is, super user. So now you are rooted. You don't have any clockwork yet, but you are rooted. Um, so that is a pretty easy way to root it, just in case you don't have a computer handy. That's just a simple root method. So now what I'm going to do is actually show you how to get clockwork mod now in case you want to flash different ROMs either an RFS ROM or an EXT4 ROM. So now what you can do is go into SGS kernel flasher and click on that and you should be able to allow it super user because you are rooted now. So go ahead and hit allow and what you're going to need to do is hit choose kernel 
and then find the kernel go ahead and hit the two dots and then find it wherever you put on your SD card in my case I put it on the no PC in the no PC folder once again you can't have any spaces in your folder if you do put it put it in a folder so there's no PC go ahead and click on that and then your kernels right there drockstar.clean.kernel.eco5 click on that and click flash kernel it's gonna flash the kernel and whenever it is done it's actually going to reboot your phone so once this is done flashing it says kernel flash succeed going to reboot so it's gonna reboot my phone and then I will have clockwork mod I no, I won't yet sorry <laughs> I'll actually just have a rooted kernel on my Samsung epic uh, it, basically this kernel um, gives you some nice added features if you do want to find out what those added features are go ahead and go back to that link I posted in the description so now your phone will reboot and then I will show you how to flash to, to get in be able to get clockwork mod 2.5.1.0 alright so now that my phone has booted up um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that um, how to get Clockwork Mod 2.5.1.0. So what you're going to need to do now is go ahead and, well first let me show you that you now have that uh, Rockstar Clean kernel on there. Go, to head, go ahead and hit settings, go to about phone, and then there it is, build number, D Rockstar Clean kernel. Right there. So now what you need to do to get Clockwork Mod 2.5, you're going to want to go to ROM manager and then you're going to want to click uh, hit OK and then OK then go ahead and click flash clockwork mod recovery press that and then you're going to want to hit epic 4G make sure you hit epic 4G and not any other phone and then you're going to want to hit yes and then go ahead and hit clockwork mod 2.x click on that one and hit OK Next, what you're going to need to do is click on install ROM from SD card and go find wherever you put your CWM 2.5.1.0.zip anywhere. I put mine in my no PC folder. Again, go ahead and click on that. And there it is, CWM 2.5.1.0.zip. Press that. And um, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to hit wipe. Going to go ahead and hit OK, not make any changes. And what it's going to do is allow super users to so go ahead and hit allow. It'll reboot your phone. And then once it's rebooted, once you boot back into Clockwork, you will be root rooted and have Clockwork Mod 2.5.1.0. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I am now rooted and also have Clockwork Mod 2.5.1.0. To show you this, I'm going to power down my phone. And after it's powered down, I will be able to boot into Clockwork, and I'll have Clockwork Mod 2.5.1.0. Alright, now that it's powered down, to boot into Clockwork, what you're going to need to do is press the volume down, camera button, and power button all at the same time. Go ahead and press all three of them. I hold them until the bottom backlit keys light up. Alright, so now you have Clockwork Mod Recovery version 2.5.1.0. It'll have green lettering. Um, now you're able to boot into Clockwork and you can flash any RFS ROM. You need to make sure it's not an EXT4 ROM. I'm going to show you what you need to do if you want to flash an EXT4 ROM. So now that you have Clockwork Mod 2.5.1, if you do want to um, be on the ext4 file system you need to make sure you have a ext4 rom on your sd card before you uh, flash what i'm about to show you and you need to make sure that um, the roms on your sd card and other than that you should be good to go what you need to do is go ahead and hit install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card and go to wherever you put your cwm 3.0.0.6 zip that's going to basically be able to boot you into clockwork mod 3.0.0.6 which will convert your file system to ext4 and then you can flash an ext4 rom so go ahead and 
navigate to CWM 3.0.0.6 .zip and hit yes, install. Install from SD card complete. Go ahead and reboot your phone then. All right, my phone has now booted back up. And what you're gonna to need to do is I'm gonna just show you guys that you now have Clockwork Mod 3.0.0.6. And when you boot into Clockwork, so go ahead and power down. And remember, you do need to have an EXT4 ROM on your file system before you boot into Clockwork once you flash that 3.0.0.6 zip file. Otherwise, you won't be able to boot back up and you're gonna to wanna to need to go back to stock. So, uh, once that powers down, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Okay, now that's powered down, I'm going to boot back into Clockwork. Volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time. After you do that, it should convert your file system to EXT4. And there it goes. Just a heads up, this does take a long time. Uh, maybe up somewhere, anywhere up to 10 minutes. It takes a while to do. What it's going to do is back up your RFS file system, restore all your data, everything like that, but it will be converted to EXT4. So it's going to take a while, and afterwards you're going to need to flash a ROM right away. All right, now that the conversion is complete, you are now on the EXT4 file system. It'll say restore complete at the bottom. After this, you're going to need to flash a ROM right away. And to do this, you're going to need to go to wipe data slash factory reset and hit yes. And you're going to want to do that three times. And after you do that three times, you're going to need to then go to wipe cache partition, do that three times as well. And then after you wipe cache three times, go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. Do that three times as well. And after that, you can go ahead and install your ROM. Go ahead and hit install zip from SD card and find out where, and choose zip from SD card and then find out wherever you put your ROM, your EXT4 ROM on your SD card and flash it. Sometimes after the file system converts, the first time you flash the ROM, it doesn't work. So if it either vibrates or won't boot up past Samsung screen or anything like that, if it doesn't boot up, all you got to do is boot back into Clockwork, pull the battery, boot back into Clockwork, uh, wipe data, cache, and Dalvik three times each, and then reflash the ROM again. Other than that, you'll be good. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys out.